It doesn't matter if they open oh, it Oh, it, it makes yeah. it harder to throw my charge. Like, yes. I see. Who now has a sight lane to I like room. that. Okay. I understand that. That's a good idea. I like that. And while upstairs we see ZRK moving to stop the push here into the open area. As Toaster and Scopes will want to make that push happen. ZRK now alone in that room. Upstairs we have Psy. He played by, or sorry, playing Ella here. We'll see Scopes coming down the hallway. We'll exchange shots with him. No one quite going down just yet. Very, very low. Sai will find Michael at the back of the back of the skylight going down. My, my Toaster will find ZRK down below. Sai will go down to Scopes as well. That is both roamers going down. The, the, I just saw the Echo drone up there with Scopes. The Jackal will basically limit any other roamers' options as, as they want to do their job. Now Lost Legends is in the elevator hallway looking to see if Toaster will come towards him. Hatches have been opened up by the Habana. With one minute left, three defenders left standing. This is favoring the attackers, but we'll see if they have the time to execute the plan that they want to make. Sub-Zero and Aerox both in towards this server, not really getting the ground that they need so far. Miss Frizzle in the A-Hall will look to stop the plant from that avenue. Lost Legends will find Toaster towards the elevator hallway, getting that pick that he so needed. And Scopes will wait for him to turn around the corner and not quite see him yet. I think that was the Echo Drone getting taken out by Scopes. Ooh, just barely missing Legends. He will go down as well. 2K so far. Now move back to site 2v3 now in favor of the defenders. We tell them that the chat needs to be kept open for official things. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to him about it after this. Ten seconds left. Two members still remaining. Sub-Zero has the diffuser. He's just not in a position to make a plant happen here. He will go for the drop to try to take out the Mira. Nitro Cell will just barely miss him. Plant is going down. No one's quite able to stop him just yet, but... Mira is right around that corner. He will not be able to stick this, and he will go down to Neutrino on the Echo. Wonderful roam game by Legends, keeping that alive for overreaction. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite realize that. Yeah, I really, I really liked the Mira in server. It gave really, really good vision for Mira, and uh, it kind of makes it impossible for Thermite to take that. Yeah, um, I, I, I haven't thought of that before. I, I, I really like that uh, strategy to like stop the thermite placement. Yeah, definitely. This is the sort of attacker lineup I was expecting instead of a jackal uh, of Thatcher. But other than that, everything else is the same. Twitch. Oh, well, no, we're having a Twitch now. Did they? But they were going to pick Twitch, but no then Twitch. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is this is essentially, as you said, the the safe version. Uh, of the previous lineup for the attackers. Instead of the Twitch, you have the Thatcher. Uh, does a similar job. However, you can take out electronics from a much safer position. Him over mirror windows. You're just not able to deal with them. However, fortunately for them, no Mira is being played. Yeah, I'm really by Dragon. By that, but potentially picking a castle here is potentially a better idea rather than, you know, letting them have certain areas and just counting on those mirror windows to counter that strategy using castle just to completely blockade him out the 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 zone to start with you know although and um, we normally see a mute playing with castle so we'll see how this goes without that especially with the ash in the way there i i like this heavy roam strategy coming out from dragon three members off the site and they're, and they're utilizing these castle barricades to make it really difficult uh, for overreaction to be able to take control of this open area. With the reinforcement... I think the problem, hmm? I think the problem with these kind of strategies normally is, is that it's very easy to get outflanked. There's only very much... There's only so little that you can do here to really reinforce the top area. Uh, especially in the open offices. Toaster will take out Neutrino all the way down below from downtown with the ACOG as he tries to push into the server room. He will not last. That's Thatcher down pretty early on. However, not really too many electronics for his grenades to, to deal with here. So that not that, that, that does not necessarily spell disaster yet for his team. It looks like 
Sai and Miss Frizzle look to pick up where he left off. Miss Frizzle in, in, in position now to open up that reinforced wall. ZRK waiting to see if A-Rock tries to push back, 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 back around that corner into his crosshairs. However, he will have to be very, very careful. Sai will run directly into A-Rock's crosshairs and go down very promptly. I'm going to assume that he did not get droned out. Arox quite low. Law Legends will team kill ZRK in the server room as, as he peeks across. Gotta watch out for your sight lines there. Arox will go back to his prone position here, waiting for Miss Frizzle to peek around the corner. He might not be ready to see Jaeger chilling out on the desk. I know I wouldn't. Well, not quite peeking around yet. He will get picked up again by Arox. Arox's positioning here is excellent. Nobody on the attackers knew that he would be there. Michael will wrap up Legends for the win. Dragons will secure the round. Very, very good. I didn't expect, uh, I didn't expect Rook to get the entry frag. Uh, who was it that rushed into the server room? Uh, neutrino, yeah, on the, on the Thatcher. Yeah. So, yeah, really, really good shot there by Rook. And I'm pretty sure that just secured the round for them because it stops that rush. It stopped, it makes them think, oh, maybe we shouldn't just rush straight in there. Maybe they are defending it quite well. And no one expected the Jaeger to be playing where he was. And he got three kills doing that. So, really well done there by Jaeger. Uh, I liked the the defense on open offices but i still think there's way too many areas where you can get outflanked and you can't dedicate enough reinforcements to make it into a proper hold you can however really force them to start thinking about their options and it's a very kind of like one of those mare breaking strategies where it's not quite expected by the enemy teams they don't really know what to do straight away so maybe they're going to waste a minute trying to think around it, and that minute is valuable time in these kind of games. I I like the fuse pick here by Aerox. A little bit unorthodox considering the mainstream, but very, very potent at attacking the site with the entirety of that ceiling being made of wood. So you can just cluster charge, essentially anything that you want on that site, clear somebody off of an entire bomb site, and then just go for a plant once that's emptied yeah. out. I agree, but I think everyone agrees that the strategy to holding this room is not to hold the room, but to hold CEO. So they're probably going to turn into a very, very hard attack here. And it looks like the attacker strategy is completely surrounding taking CEO with the Hibana, Fuse, and Book picks. Lots of roaming coming out. I, I like Neutrino's uh, decision to play Pulse on the site to help counter that attack upstairs as he can give lots of information and possibly even the Nitro Cell kill for his team to help them defend that. We'll see Psy and ZRK being supported by Miss Frizzle on the mute in the corridor. Waiting to see who decides to push into them. Psy's shots will go around. Aerox will find ZRK on the site. The Fuse will swing and then a trade will go off. Aerox and Miss Frizzle both going down. That's the Fuse charges. No longer in the equation. Size the last man standing here on the roam upstairs. Sai very, very low here in the stock room. Looking to fight scopes here. Ooh, he will take more shots from the corridor behind him. As he looks to open up a rotation hole, will indeed go down to scopes. Legends, however, will get a return frag. Keeping his team in at 2v3 now in favor of the attackers. Glorious skeleton key. Looking pretty standard now from the attackers as they, as they look to force their way down the skylight stairwell stairs. Michael with the diffusers now in the sight. He will be able to plan here if he positions himself carefully. Both defenders not really in a position to stop this from happening. Zero will look, or sorry, Sub Zero will look to stop any sort of contention from this. It, the plant will go down. Neutrino and Legends have to make something happen here. Zero is ready for the rotation, however, on the right. No one, however, is watching the door that I can see. Neutrino will go down to Sub Zero immediately. Legends is last man standing in a dangerous spot here. Buck from above, Michael and Sub Zero on the other side will make it very, very difficult for him to make a play here. Buck now. Behind the counter, Sub-Zero will go down to Legends 2v1. He's running out of time. Michael very, 
very low to the 416. He will go down as well. Scopes, not quite getting killed by the pistol, will find him and secure the round for the attackers. Legends had the opportunity, and he nearly seized it, but the C8 proving to be a little bit too powerful for his boots. Yeah, I think really nice try by Jaeger at the end there. Uh... Where the attacker's hold was um, was pretty potent, especially breaking into archives and uh, uses ninja play into CEO. Really, uh, really pulled into that as well. To to my understanding, they synced it with the buck, so like it covered up the sound. That's really clever. I like that. Mm. Six and two, He's lost legends, trying his best for his team. Trying his best as always. Mm. Uh, sledge pick here instead of book. My mistake. There we go. Which, yeah, I, which, I think is honestly better than book with sledge is his hammer makes him a lot more potent. The L85, some might consider to be the better weapon here. Uh, certainly easier to control, and. With with the hammer just being more consistent for opening up the vertical sight lines. Buck just kind of has lost his place in the meta. However, however, with Sledge, you can't do the fancy, like, your sound mask tactic that we saw. Ah, yeah. Sorry. No, my apologies. Yeah, of course. Um, I really like the Legion pick here. Uh, I think the Legion is just one of these operators that is an incredibly good anchor, because, of course, the longer he's alive in the round, the more traps he's going to get. And just surrounding an objective... Especially on bomb, where there's just nothing but lesion traps, makes it almost impossible to punt the diffuser down quickly. Okay, I'm calling it now. Someone's going to accidentally fall through that hatch at one point during this round. <laughs> I think it's going to be someone who tries to rush into objective, jumps yeah, over the reception desk, so. and immediately falls down. That counts. Oh, I guess legion. That counts. Yeah, that counts, yeah. That, Next level for That wasn't an accident. But uh, we'll see Michael playing in the open area. I, 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 like the, I like the vertical rotation holes that have been made with the impact grenades. It lets them uh, rotate around into the skylight stairwell and into the main stairs from these positions and get out if they are overwhelmed by attackers. It looks like the attackers will look to lean primarily on the main lobby and the upstairs here. As we see Legends already in the upstairs with Psy to support him on the Jackal looking to see any footprints in the area. If, if they decide to open up these hatches in the supply closet and in, in, in this corridor here, it could really... Uh, force Michael out, but I don't think they know that he is there just yet. ZRK will find Sub-Zero in the basement. Aerox will look to fight him as well. Very, very low by the Ibotta. Will look to push around the impact grenade. Will lit him down to half. Two members with ZRK. They have a lot of ground here that they got with that surprise attack from ZRK on the Habana. Two members down already. 3v5. With one minute twenty left, another flank will come out from the pulse being played. I'm sorry, but from the castle being played by Michael. ZRK will go down. Shots will be exchanged with legends. Both te both members of each team very very low. Looks like Michael will quite possibly back off here. No, he's going back in. He wants that bone. He wants it. More shots can be exchanged. No one really connected just yet. It really only takes one shot from either person to neutralize their opponent. Michael will now look to opt away from that engagement. Not wanting to go down just yet. His, his his presence there is more of a threat necessarily than him just trying to kill him. Because now, you, even if you, even if he backs off from that, they're going to be afraid of the castle coming back for seconds. And if he really wants to, he could probably just rotate again through the same holes. <laughs> Toaster will find Miss Frizzle. Glorious SMG-11. It does look like a plant will go down in... The teller's office, Sai will find a scope as he looks to push back around. There's not too many options left for a toaster. He has to push in through the doorway, and they have members in every position that they want to have. Sai will find toaster. The round will go to overreaction. Wonderful push here into the teller's office. I think it was a good plan to just concentrate sort of around the... Uh, horizontal take rather than the vertical take because they they had thermite and habana so you know you can open up a lot of reinforcements with that kind of play so if you just sort of play onto those stairs and just sort of push that way 
you leave little for the defenders to actually do there because most of the defenders are going to just be sat in corners sort of just play around the verticality and you know verticality goes both ways you can get picks through both of them so it's kind of risky for the attackers as well but uh them i did well there to sort of open up areas where the defenders are just going to be hiding and makes it easy to take the site and get picks i think that a lot of that boiled down to just the so like if if you're going to defend just one site and concentrating yourself is absolutely the right decision i think because Spreading your, you really can't spread out and not have a good amount of roamers on that site and win it because it, there's not enough places to hide, and the vertical like the, the importance of the vertical play means that you have to try to make the attackers waste as much time as you can, make them waste bodies, resources, on taking control of the other parts of the map, not even just the you know the, the floor above and below, but mm. only leaving yourself with one way to get back into the other site. Just meant that they had to watch. They just had to watch a door instead of having to watch. You know, maybe the door and a rotate hole made on the right, which which doesn't really sound like a huge difference, but it makes a lot when you only have one or two people left alive. You know, to to cover those rotation routes. Yeah, I agree totally. And uh, and Castle did very very well to rotate and uh, pick up the two K. It's like we'll see as you see our K at the back of the open area looking to get a shot on the toaster. Meanwhile, upstairs, we'll see Scopes opening up these hatches, but wanting to force ZRK out of that open area. He will take some shots from below, lit to about half now. Meanwhile, we'll see Michael and Aerox wanting to push into that server room with Sub-Zero playing above him. We'll take shots from his size. He looks to drop down into the skylight stairwell. He will go down. Now, Toaster will do the Wiggle Worm strategy into the open area against ZRK and Psy. They have the crossfire. ZRK, ooh, ooh, he'll just barely miss him around that corner. He is the sneakiest of snacks. ZRK will now back off, look to use those hatches against him. As Psy goes to the Grismont mine throw, he is so very stunned and will go down to the Scorpion. ZRK playing above. These holes that got opened up by Scopes can go both ways. It does look like the hill fall back down. Meanwhile, Scopes playing in that supply closet, just barely missing ZRK's rotation. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Psy will pick up Michael in the Skylight Stairwell, just like his friend previously, Aerox, just around the corner. We'll see Psy rotate, missing his shots initially, however, he will go down. Thermite's gun is proving to be a little bit too much for Aerox's fingers. He does, however, secure that kill. Aerox and Scopes have to make something happen here, as there is less than a minute left now for them to be able to get a plant off. Four members still standing on overreaction. Ooh, scopes his rotation. ZRK will find him. Aero, Aerox, I'm sorry, is, is the last man standing now. He has to make a push here. He will decide to try to go for the plant. Claymore just barely missing the smoke, and he will go down. Miss Frizzle hearing that thermite charge and reacting to it appropriately. Hmm, yeah. Really, really aggressive defense there. Elo making very good Jean's using them just as grenades, really. Echo hunting for her, finding where she needs to push and who she can really take out there. Especially against the Herbana. I think Eula is just an incredible counter to these you know, aim fraggers who just go in and they get the entry frags, but how can you do that when your sensitivity just becomes zero when uh, that Ella concussion mine hits you? Yeah. Very, very difficult to deal with if the uh, if the defender times the the explosion of the mine with uh, his counter push. Particularly yeah. because if, if he decides to push you, you cannot aim to his head. Yeah, I think a lot of Ellas use the mines just as sort of detection, and then maybe keep one or two on them for the aggressive plays against shields. But, uh, but I think the Ella in that round did really, really well to use them a lot more aggressively and sort of push down attackers when they were exposed. Uh, this strategy very, very similar to what we saw previously from Dragon. Uh, Scopes on the Pulse will play uh, on this main stair skylight just below. 
Waiting to see who pushes up into the upstairs. He'll be able to react to that. Sub-Zero. Oh, above. I like this angle. Here, looking down towards the window. This will give him lots yeah. of intel on that window and possibly catch somebody off guard. It's a good window, but it's kind of hard to hold. And especially if you're expecting them to come for that window, you would also expect them to come for the window that's right in front of you as well. So if you even can get a pick, you're not going to be there for very long. But, you know, that one pick is all you really need to be an effective roamer. If you can get the Thermite or something, you know, that's big. That's really big, the Cilion. I like this positioning here from Sub-Zero, however. I don't know if Miss Frizzle missed him with his drone or not. We did see it drive past. That was interesting. We just saw Ash lag a little bit. Are we alive? Hello? Ooh, yeah, we just lagged out a little bit there, though. Damn it. Sorry about that. We should be okay now. I hope. Lost Legends peek around the corner. We'll get picked up by Sub-Zero. That pixel angle, very, very potent. That's the Jackal. A very strong answer to the Rome game that both teams are favoring quite a bit on this map. Without that, they will uh, be a little bit harder off trying to uh, lock down like Sub-Zero and Toaster. I'm logging out again. How lovely. Yep. <sighs> I fucking hate Spectrum. It's yep. awful. Anyway, I think we're okay for now. Hopefully it will stop being a problem before it, you know, cuts me off completely. This Frizzle will now, with one minute left, open up this wall. They will look to get a plant down. 5v4. Oof, excuse me, 4v4 now as Psy will pick up Sub-Zero on his rotation back with on the Ella. Scopes will re refrag onto Psy. Nitro Cell will pick up Neutrino's plant and cut that off from the beginning. Michael will get refragged by Miss Frizzle as he goes for a plant here. Aggressive is Aerox pushing around the corner. He will get very, very low, but will indeed stop the Thermite in his tracks. That is an interesting bug, Ubisoft. I'll reach, switch over to ZRK so that stops happening. Pulse is above him. I don't think he's aware of this. He will look to push into Aerox now. We'll see Toaster. Aerox will go down 1v2 now as he looks to push into the site. Toaster will go down to Z ZRK as well. Pulse is off the site, not in a position to stop this plant if ZRK opts to do this now. Blood, but he's biding his time, however, not going for the plant yet. We'll run back around towards the Pulse. He had the opportunity there. I don't know why he didn't go for it. Both players very, very low. A uh, draw. Oh, incredible draw there. Oh, damn. It's here, okay. Going for the spicy push. Hmm. We are on match point now, however. Because of how the draw mechanics yeah. work. Each uh, each team gets one point yes. in this. So draw. if overreaction wins this round, they will win the map. I'm not sure who picked this. Do you know who picked this map? I didn't see. Uh, dragon pick this dragon map. Dragon pick this map. That could be big then if Overreaction wins Dragon's map and then they have the advantage of being more, as we will assume, more prepared uh, going into Skyscraper. Yeah. Skyscraper yeah, should be a good map to play on. Um, hey. I'm liking, I, honestly, I don't say this enough, but I, I'm liking the Blackbird pick against this team. Breaking uh, Blackbeard. I know Blackbeard is an unpopular operator, but you can't deny that he is good at holding angles, and especially against an aggressive team, it can it can heavily work in your favor. And if you want to take the match to overtime, Blackbeard can help you secure that. Uh, it seems they're not going for breaching this time, they're just going purely for verticality, possibly using Blackbeard to just hold down the windows, hold down the angles, stop roamers from picking you off as book and defuse absolutely destroy the objective. Legend is playing Mira instead of uh, the Jaeger that we've been that we've seen him be favoring so far in this matchup. He's very he's been very very strong on the roam, uh, especially in the earlier rounds of the series, very very good at just at, at at timing his counter pushes well, catching uh, members of the attacking team off guard. However, he will probably play on site now instead of on the Jaeger roam. And we're to see uh, how his playstyle will suit this. And if he's able to keep his streak going. Uh, back alley push coming out from Dragon. Sub-Zero on the angle looking towards 
the B site, locking down any sort of rotation coming out through those doors. On his drone, looking to see where they go on the rotation. Upstairs, we'll have a lot of members of Dragon trying to secure that avenue. Neutrino's drone will spot out scopes, holding his angle towards the conference room. Will attempt to get the Echo drone over. He will not be able to secure that as it backs away towards the corridor. Miss Rizzle moving back round. He's not really in a position to be able to contest that at this point. Scope's now able to rotate back through. Toaster will find Neutrino. From the stairwell, Aerox will find Mix Miss Frizzle in turn. Upstairs, does believe to be ta uh, does appear to be taken by Dragon. VRK, however, looks to retake this site. Psy will go down to Sub-Zero, trying to get the rotation off. ZRK exchanging shots down the corridor with Scopes. Nobody really taking too much damage at this point. ZRK will look to back off from that, realizing that he is very outgunned by three attackers. Excuse me, two attackers. Toaster does have a hold here on the Bravo site. A plant could definitely go down here if they communicate it correctly. Toaster will take some damage from ZRK on the other site. Now we're not taking enough to go down. Blackbeard will now hold down that mirror window. Rotation is very, very difficult for the defenders to make now with the Blackbeard on that window. There's not a lot they can do without trying to go for a flank. ZRK will get spotted by Toaster, getting very, very low to that F2. Fuse charges raining down on their foreheads. Aerox has the diffuser upstairs. I'm not quite sure why they're not, well, they're, why they're not rotating to get a plant off here. Toaster will just barely miss ZRK. He will finally go down to Scopes. Diffuser's on the site. Plant will go down. Legend's last man standing for overreaction. He will take out the Blackbeard, but will, but will get immediately refragged by Scopes on the buck. Yeah, I think the Bloodbeard worked out for them not because Blackbeard got good picks, but simply because there is a Blackbeard there, you're like, I don't want to rotate into a Blackbeard hold. I'm going to go somewhere else. Sub-Zero, not feeling great about his own skills. Yeah. He's doing fine. I really haven't seen a potato aim. He just gets, like, you know, spooked. We will, of course, see overtime. His hands are too cold. Yeah, we are in overtime now. Yeah. Um, I'm liking the duck. I know you always like a duck. I am I'm with you on that boat now. I love you like a duck. I love a duck. Ducks are great. However, I'm not sure about a mirror not being played, especially on this site. Uh there, you've seen some really good mirrors uh on this map, and especially on in this particular match with that mirror on the servers. So I'm kind of confused as to why you wouldn't mirror, although we did see Rook holding this objective last time yeah, I, I, from a very, very long angle from the other side. I think that it so. works for them to, to, to just use like the, the Rook or the Dock or the ACOG to hold the long angle all the way from the B-bomb into the servers more than the mirror. Because like the, the mirror is very, very difficult to deal with from a horizontal push, right? But the the mirror falls victim to the hatches, which very, very often get blown up by Habana. So it, it's it's a trade-off. And for them, at least, it works. We'll see Lost Legends pushing from the back alley already, opening up that window. Meanwhile, upstairs, Miss Frizzle will, get, will try to gain control of the Skylight Stairwell. Lost Legends rotating back up to help him out. Uh, Frizzle's telling you to get fiber into it. I'm pretty sure I don't have that in my area. Rip. Yeah. Move to a better area. Uh, that's expensive. I, I already live in like one of the most expensive places to live in the country. I don't need to move again. Well, I do need to move again, but I don't, I don't need to move around in here again. Scope's playing on this stairwell. We normally see a, a pulse being used... For this position over Ella, very, very similar in the speed, uh, quality of gun. Uh, honestly, a better gun. We'll most likely see that and be used very, very effectively, yes? An insanely better gun, definitely. Ooh, speaking of better gun, Twitch will go down. Neutrino will get picked off by Scopes as he moves back towards the site now. 
He's got his pick. He's going to give that up and now just look to defend. The Twitch pick, not as big as it could have been. There is, of course, no mirror, as we talked about previously. ZRK and Sai will opt to get open this hatch. Opening up... Interesting. Opening up the, the elevator hatch and the main lobby hatch, as opposed to opening up the open area hatches. I think they're going for a vault play instead, just looping ground so that they can't lot pressure from that side. I like the unusual. It's always nice to see teams try to make something different happen. Legends will kit will pick up Michael on the bandit, wanting to flank them through open area. We'll spot that out almost immediately and answer it with a strongly worded letter. 4v4 now, 50 seconds left for overreaction to make a play here. Ooh, Aerox will pick up Miss Frizzle on the stairs. He'll look to back away from that. That is Diffuser. He does have to, to commit to getting back this. Ooh, Aerox will spot him as well. Aerox now killing two so far. CRK will drop. I think will drop the vault. They have Diffuser upstairs. Aerox is not going to commit to that. He's going for the flank now to see if CRK is ready for him. CRK will attempt to make the jump into Toaster's face, but he will get destroyed. By the MP5. I I really love these sort of aggressive defense plays. The you know the best defense is a good offense, right? Naturally. And I think I think dragons do play into that well. Potentially, why they don't have a mirror, so they can just do. Sort of a bandit Ella heavy room while Doc and Rook hold the site and sort of anchor. And, you know, that MP5 really allows you to hold long angles, something that defenders are seeming to do increasingly rarely with a lack of ACOGs on the defending team, which is something that a lot of people like to talk about. And uh, it is an interesting meta change uh, where bandit and Jaeger are concerned. Potentially not making them as potent as they used to be, but certainly making, with the recent changes to Bandit's charges with the Havana, uh, certainly making Bandit potentially stronger. I I think that it makes I I, I think that that it doesn't make necessarily Bandit and Jaeger less powerful. I think it makes them less flexible, because mm. especially like the the more aggressive Bandit and Jaeger players were already running like Hollow Sight or Reflex Sight or even Red Dot Sight. If you're the, if, if you're one of those people, right? Like. That was already kind of the the strat, like the and the the, the play style of a three speed doesn't really change because at least generally you aren't fighting those long angles. You're fighting uh, medium to close range. So I I, I think that I, I don't think that it hurt Jaeger and Bandit as much as people thought it was going to because the the, the, the people that played the aggressive Bandit Jaeger that always did really really well are still able to do that and and it works especially with with the lighting changes. A lot of the, the need of the ACOG has been offset. Scoops, mm, scopes yeah. with the garage push. I don't think we've seen one of these so far. This might catch overreaction off guard. Especially from Sledge. Hmm. <laughs> everybody, everybody loves Little Scotland from behind. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Shrizzle playing with the pretty standard Ella placement here. Waiting to see if any members come around that corridor. The mirror window does appear to be... Is that intact? I can't tell. If it is destroyed. Okay. They did get yeah. rid of that. Means the Thermite cannot open up that wall. Speaking of Thermite, Aerox will open up the other wall here. Planning to open up a plant for his team. He's not quite blowing it yet. I'm not sure what he's waiting for here. But, um, but speaking of that, you really want to Thermite that wall anyway, so... Is there an advantage there? Is that really what the mirror is for? Uh, okay, so like if... W w with the mirror window being at crouch height, you have to crouch to be able to see anybody through that corridor. So it, it limits the area that, that, the, that the mirror has to watch. Whereas if you want to stand up and push him, you just can't see him. And he can see you because you know, he, he can see across your torso. 
And I, 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 mm. I think for that reason, it favors the defenders. The other mirror window, however, will go down. To I believe that is the sludge in the garage. And a, a plant from Aerox will attempt to happen. He will miss the Nitro Silver. A flank coming out. Ooh, ZRK will pick up Toaster as well as Mike.